1967 Dodge Coronet. Just bought it today. Just washed it, came off of the farm. Well, actually, the boonies. This is the state it, or the state it is in right now. Has some defects that will be addressed throughout the next few years. Engine will be dealt with for the next few months. Body work and stuff like that is one that's going to take the longest. Finding body panels. I couldn't resist. I had to get it washed. This is the biggest problem I see is this body panel right here. Got a big chunk, I'll show that tomorrow in another video. The interior is okay, there's no rust or rot along the bottom of the doors or the door jams. They have all the molding, the molding's all gonna get ripped out anyways. The seats, they're okay. Looks like somebody used a bed sheet for a cover. Same in the front. Doors are solid. Needs being cleaned, which I'm gonna clean out the interior tomorrow. said they left trash in it I don't care I'll clean it radio that doesn't go with the car it's not gonna stay with the car that radio does not work I don't care I don't even care if it has a radio has well, if you can see that those are our original miles glass is all intact headliner is still intact which is amazing. And, uh, like I said, the motor needs help. But it made it all the way from Scottstown, Ohio to Cleveland, Ohio with no problem. So, turn down my highs because I got one low. Little beam out. And I'll catch you in the video tomorrow. <coughs> Alright, this is car before tuna. I ran this significantly better than it did yesterday. I had a serious miss. Ran a couple gallons of premium, so I'm hoping that cleared it up. It had like a dead cylinder. It didn't seem to have it anymore. Found a hydraulic leak for the uh, power steering pump. I just capped it. So I'm going to have to add more power steering fluid to it. But she looks like she's going to be an all right car. Going to do a tune up. Cap rotor, plugs, wires, uh, got an air cleaner for it, and we're going to gut it today. So that's the game plan for today. Talk to you then.